Procreate has added some simple animation features. Today, we're gonna to be walking through those and making this animation. Before we get going, this video does not have a sponsor, which means I get to be the sponsor. I have some courses over on Udemy, two Procreate courses and one Affinity Designer for the iPad course. If you're interested in mastering any of those programs or learning some cartoon skills along the way, there are some discount codes down below in the description. Let's get on with the tutorial. One thing to know about Procreate's animation tools before we get started is they're not what one would call robust. In fact, they're pretty simple. The only thing you can really do with this is export as an animated GIF. So let's walk through that process. The first thing you need to know is that every frame that you want in your animation is going to be sitting right here in your layers panel. Now to make my life easier, I've numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, and I will toggle those off so you can see I've taken the word animation. I just used the new type tool to type that out. And then with every frame, I went in and I drew in a little bit of the letters and I drew in more and more and more and more and more until the entire thing is filled out. Now, like I said, each one of these frames or each one of these layers is a frame in our animation. And when we're ready to export it, what we do is we go up to our wrench and we go down here to animated GIF. That's in the share section. And it's gonna give us a nice little preview of, of what's going on here. And we have some options, not a ton of options, but we can change the frames per second. So if we wanted to move really slow, like three frames per second, we could do that. I can slide it up to about 12 frames per second, which works pretty well for me. And if you wanted to go super duper fast, you could totally do that too. I'm gonna slow that back down to a more reasonable 12. I could also make the background transparent if I want to, since I have black text you're not really gonna be able to see it on camera, but you get the idea. So those are the basics of animation, but what if you want to do something a little bit more complex with your animation? Let's walk through that process a little bit. I'm gonna open up my layers and we're gonna take a look. Now say on one of these frames, I want to add a background color starting to come in underneath the word animation. How would I go about doing that? Let me grab my pencil and we will take a look at that. I'll open up my layers and I'll go ahead and toggle off all the layers that I don't need, and I'm going to create a new layer underneath layer three, and then maybe I just put this big black circle starting underneath my text. And then what I can do is I'm gonna use a mask here. So if I go to my text, I'll turn it on so we can see it. Uh, this way I don't actually have to color it in. I can say uh, select, which will create a selection. I can grab that layer and then the mask that I create by tapping on here and going to mask will mask out everything else. So there we go. Now we have this black circle starting to form there and I want these things together. So I'll swipe to the right on that and then I'm going to create a group there. Now maybe the layer below it, I wanna do something similar. So I'm gonna go below layer two, I'm gonna hit plus so I can create a new layer. I accidentally created two there. I'm gonna grab that black again and maybe this time we just put a little bit of black there. Now since, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, since my selection is already in place, I have these angled lines going on. I didn't turn off that selection. It's just gonna draw inside where I already have that selection. So that's gonna work well for me on this new layer. And then of course, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna group this, uh, and then I'm gonna fast forward through this and do the same thing on all these other layers so we can see the entire thing fill out. All right, and now instead of individual frames, what I have are groups. So each group is going to count as a frame as well. So now when I turn these on, I'll toggle on the next one. We start to see the black come in, start to see it come in more and more and more and more. Let's go ahead and preview this by going to share and then going to animated GIF. And we can see the whole thing coming in. It looks like there's a weird one on my frame, but you get the general idea. Let's make it more complicated. Now what I've done here is I've taken that text animation and I've added some other elements to it as well. Now in my layer palettes, this is all contained within one group. So each individual leaf can be toggled on or off 
uh, as I need to. I also have some shadows on the text and some other fun stuff going on as well. I also made the text white just to make it look a little better. Now before what I did is I started drawing a little bit of the text and then on the next frame I added to it and on the next frame I added to it. This time I'm going to do the opposite. I started with this full drawing. I'm going to go to that group and I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to turn off the duplicate and we're going to work on the layer underneath it and now I can come in here and I can grab each layer and I can grab my selection tool up here and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna make this leaf a little bit smaller. Let's grab the next leaf. Gonna grab that, make that a little bit smaller and pull it in a little bit. Gonna grab my next leaf, going to make it smaller and I'm gonna pull it in a little bit. Grab this next leaf and then we're gonna make that a little bit smaller. And then what I can do is with every single group that I have, I can duplicate that again. It'll duplicate, I'll toggle it off, I'll go to this group. I can go back here, I can grab that leaf again, and I'm just gonna go through each and every group, modify things just a tiny bit. Let me scale that down. And then, after I've done a whole bunch of these, I'm gonna have an animation. So fast forwarding ahead, this is the animation I have put up. I have my little wrench, I go to share, and then I'm gonna to go to animated GIF again, and let's see how it looks. There we go, we can see the whole thing animating in with the leaves in it. Couple things that I do wanna point out before we finish up here. At the end, I wanted this to hold. Basically, I wanted it to pause for a second before going on and starting over again because the animation is going to loop. In order to do that, what I did is I took one of my, my final group, I duplicated it, and then I flattened it. Part of the reason I do that is Procreate limits the number of layers that I'm allowed. And with this method, I used a lot of layers. And so what I did is after I duplicated it, I just flattened it. So instead of having eight layers, I had one layer. And then I duplicated that over. So each time you see background, 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 repeated over again, that's the way I have paused at the end of that animation. And this is how this animation turned out. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you in a couple of days.